I have a new item to show you today that I just found. This is a meat grinder. So let's take a look at the box. This is the name of the company that makes this meat grinder. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here is the meat grinder. Uh, it is a stainless steel and uh, black plastic design, so it'll go with most kitchens. Um, pretty simple. Uh, let's see. Let's start with some of the attachments. Um, these two attachments are for making sausage. And these two other attachments are here. This determines the size of whatever you're grinding. This is how you can remove it. Off. All right, so we have our three different size little things that determines the size of the meat or whatever you're grinding, whatever size you want. So it's very easy to put together and take apart. This is the part that grinds the meat. It's kind of similar to a juicer. And in this part, you push here. This part comes like that. You turn it to here. And then that comes off. And you're going to need to take all of this apart when you want to clean it. So that's the chute here where the you put the, whatever you're going to grind goes down here. This is like a little area where you can put the stuff and kind of push it down into there. This is the pusher. Uh, also very similar to what you have in a juicer. So you put it together. You start with this piece. All right, until it lines up and then you turn it until it clicks into place. Then let's put that piece in. That's the grinder part of it. This way. Yeah. That way then this piece goes on, and um, I'm going to go with the fine, the fine little filter here. And then that. Line up, and then the end cap. Screw that on, tighten it up. And then this goes on that. And then that's your pusher that goes there so you can push down onto things. I'm going to try grinding carrots. This actually can grind not only just meat, you can do vegetables and you can do nuts. Uh, so I'm going to try it out on some carrots. Now. did really good. But look at that. See how nice that is? This is a nice, really nicely ground up thing. This is great when you need a dish that you need it finely ground up, but you don't want to have it made into juice. Um, yeah, this did really, really good. So you can see this would be great for making all kinds of different things. Now I'm going to make some nut butter. I have some peanuts. Let's try it out. I have the smallest, most fine filter in here. I want this to be as fine as possible. That was really fast. Let's take a look and see how well it did. 
Yeah. You make peanut butter without oil or whatever nuts you put in there, you make that nut butter. And you see how fast it was. So that's the main reason I got this is because this is really, really good. This machine is really good at doing nut butters. And I'm going to uh, grind up some chicken. So uh, let's see how it works. Now I'm going to try it on the medium filter. really got those into little little pieces like that. Um, this is good if you want to definitely want to mix your own blends of stuff. Um, I think ideally for this for the cats I'd probably want to mix in some fish so, so they can have a, a flavor of different things. Um, but it definitely worked through this chicken and that skin is kind of hard to break down because it's uh, just not easy. <laughs> uh, so that did really good on that. So overall I'm very happy I got the meat grinder. Uh, the main reason was to make nut butters and I wanted to be able to make nut butters that were healthy. That is not adding oil to it. I also was very happy how well it uh, ground up the uh, the carrots so even though I wasn't planning on using it for that uh, I can definitely use it for grinding up different vegetables um, and uh, if you have a pet and you want to make uh, custom pet food then that's perfect for this as well and if you are a meat eater then this is perfect for making sausage and your own custom hamburgers and uh, whatever kind of things you want to make. Uh, it, it does a pretty good job. It's fairly inexpensive. It's better than a hand crank one, which can be tiring. <laughs> so um, I would say the only real negative thing that I'd have to say about this is this thing is really loud. Um, I have a juicer that's kind of similar to this, but it's designed to juice and not grind meat. That's very quiet, but this this is a very loud machine. So if you're running it, you don't want to run it at night or in the morning when people are sleeping. So that's the negative thing I got to say about it. But the positive is that it does a good job and it's very inexpensive. So uh, suits what I want it to do. Uh, so I'm glad I got it. If you like this video, feel free to hit subscribe. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye.